What is literacy? Strictly speaking, literacy is the ability to read, write, and communicate effectively. But really, literacy is so much more. Literacy connects us to our rich histories, to each other, and to the world. Over the next five years, we will focus on five instructional practices to ensure students across all grade levels develop advanced literacy skills. These practices include the abundant reading of diverse and engaging texts, extensive discussion, frequent process-based writing, real-world application of literacy skills through authentic learning experiences, and communicating and creating content in a digital environment. We know that reading growth happens when students have time set aside for extended reading and when they have access to lots of texts in a variety of genres. Through our focus on abundant reading, Students in pre-K through 12th grade will read contemporary, culturally diverse texts that feature big ideas and rich content. We will encourage lively discussion in the classroom, and we will help students make connections between their reading and the things that are important to them. For students of all ages, exploring rigorous and compelling questions through abundant reading, writing, and discussion supports the development of advanced literacy skills. Texts will include a range of print texts, such as trade books, ebooks, news articles, research papers, and poetry, as well as visual or auditory texts, such as photos, diagrams, videos, audiobooks, TED Talks, and podcasts, to reflect the myriad of ways in which we communicate in the 21st century. To include engaging texts means that we are helping students explore ideas that matter to them. And so we need to make sure that we are incorporating questions and listening to what the conversation our students are having so that we can incorporate those ideas and those experiences and help our students grow in ways that benefit them academically and emotionally. We need to make sure we have equity when it comes to opportunities we're giving them. And I think as a teacher, I always think about that, that I'm offering equal opportunities for all my students. We bring abundant reading into the classroom. We're very aware of how much time, right, we have. And what does that mean in terms of how many books are we gonna read? How, how much of that time are we gonna spend um, talking about what we've read? And most importantly, also, I believe is, are we gonna write about it? With the help of Department of Literacy, we were able to secure books that showed cultures uh, and characters from around the world. And so that was our primary focus, and that changed the dialogues that kids were able to have with each other, that teacher was able to have with students and the classroom as a whole. My students are coming with more confidence now. They feel more um, willing to kind of lean into conversations that traditionally in person they weren't and now using the text, they're using those to kind of support the decisions that they are making about, but also how it impacts them um, as individuals. Literacy gives us the confidence to stand up for our beliefs, the skills to articulate our hopes and dreams, and the courage to make bold choices. Literacy transforms our lives and prepares us for success today and tomorrow. Literacy allows us to carve out our own pathways, seize opportunities, and navigate the modern world. This is literacy. 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 This is literacy in CPS. Please contact us at literacy at cps.edu for more information or support. To let us know about the literacy work you're doing in your school or community, tag us at CPS with the hashtag, this is literacy on social media. And remember, more reading, more writing, more talking, more thinking. This is literacy.